guys and welcome back to the channel so today for review I am talking about this little puppy right here so if I can get it focused on that it's really bright this is the Orion Hue from Lost Vape <laughs> Now, I've been using this thing for about a month now, so I've got some ideas of what I like and what I don't like about it. I lost the packaging for this vape, so not going to be showing me opening it or anything like that. Um, but to start off, I do want to tell you, if you order this, it does not come with these little pods right here. You have to buy these pods separately. So mine came with this didn't come with this and I was freaking out reached out to the company and they were like no you have to buy pods for it it doesn't come with pods so I ended up buying pods and I've liked it ever since but come on lost babe you could throw in one pod like come on but the price is pretty good on this but so we're gonna jump right into this so to start off this is the mod right here this is the the whole thing you have a little charging port right here um, you have a little bitty LED light, a button, and this little... <laughs> and this little uh, trigger right here. And this trigger holds, you can see on the inside, there are two gold-plated pins right down there. And it's going to clip into place just like this. And then it's stuck. That thing is not going anywhere unless you pull this now it will shoot out of there pretty quickly which surprised me quite a few times okay so as this thing is 97 by 33 by 13 millimeters this is going to have a 950 milliamp battery in this and it has a max output of 17 watts that's not adjustable at all so you do have three different little LED lights down here so light blue is gonna be 64 to a hundred percent and then 63 to about 25 is going to be this purple color that it is right now and then anything less than that to dead is gonna be red and you have to charge it back up now this is the first um, mod of its kind really or the the first pod system of its kind to have the airflow ring right here this little bitty piece of metal right here I know it's hard to see this little piece of metal this is the airflow ring right there this this is where you fill it up so you just unscrew this boom that comes off fill it up I've already got it full so whenever you buy these pods they are one ohm pods and they do hold two mls of liquid this um, they normally come black this is an aftermarket uh, let's see if you can see that this is aftermarket I bought that extra just because I thought it went with the color very very well um, this is gonna come in a bunch of different colors I'll pop those up on the screen now Okay, so this thing um, is showing purple, which means it's getting low on battery life. But I wanted to hit it a couple times, show you what kind of vapor you can get off of this, and then kind of give you my ideas on it. So I'm going to do a mouth to lung, and then I'm going to do straight direct to lung. So it's a mouth to lung hit. Doesn't look like a lot, I know, but my fan's on, so... Now I'm going to do a direct lung hit, so you can kind of see what that looks like. That is actually a pretty good bit of vapor, and I had the airflow almost completely off, so I'm going to rewind this and redo it. So this is a mouth to lung hit. A little bit better that is a little bit better with the airflow being completely open this thing is an air hog it has so much airflow coming through this right here so now I'm gonna do a direct to lung hit 
so you can see kind of the vapor you're going to get off of that. Not bad, not bad for a little vape, and this thing's almost dead, so I really enjoy this. I like that I can take it into a movie theater or take it with me on the go. Let, let me show you this. So, before this, I was using this, okay? I was using this. This is the Aspire Sprite, and I loved it, but this thing lights up, and it is so bright if you're in a dark setting that it's basically unusable. This, you have this little bitty LED that, I don't even know if you can see it on camera. This thing is so great. I absolutely love this thing. And now there's like a bunch of different versions of this thing from different companies, because once Lost Vape made this, a lot of companies jumped on board because this thing is a huge hit. There are some, some positives and there are some cons. So I'm gonna start off with the positives, with the pros. So this thing is amazing for on the go. This thing, you just slap it down in your pocket. It's good to go wherever you want. It doesn't light up. It's not loud, it's not bright, but that's kind of a trade off. The battery is 950 milliamp hours. This battery can last me maybe three, maybe four hours and it's dead. This is not gonna last the whole day and I can't replace those batteries at all. This is an internal battery. I wish that they had maybe make it, made it a little thicker and they could have put a bigger battery inside of this. I feel like I would have liked it a little bit more, used it a little bit more if the battery had lasted longer. But I have to say that is subjective because a lot of times I just need this for three or four hours and then, you know, I can go and get my larger vapes with bigger batteries and things like that to last me the rest of the day. But I took this to work and on an eight hour shift at work, going to breaks, this thing died multiple times. And that's frustrating. I don't like that at all. Um, I'd love that you can refill these pods right here at the top um, with the Aspire Sprite right here. I haven't done a review of this yet, but I've had it for a while. You have to take the pod out and you fill it up underneath. This is not that way, it's right here on top. It's so much more convenient. This is fantastic. The airflow ring being here is also great because you can adjust it very easily to where like on this one, you have to adjust it on the bottom. That's so, fr I hate it now. And I used to love this little thing. I used it all the time. I don't anymore, I, I'm using this. So guys, I'm gonna have some links down below where you can pick this little puppy up and it's gonna cost you roughly about 25 to $30 depending on where you're getting it from. Uh, so I will have some links down below where you can be picking this thing up. But thanks for coming along guys on another review. Think about checking me out on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, all those good things. And uh, I'll see you next time.